हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा जे डिवोटीज माय हम्बल ओबेसेंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन माय सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू प्रीति विलासिनी माता जी फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन श्री चैतन्य भागवत वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रील वृंदावन दास ठाकुर glorious literature called shri chaitanya bhagavat and uh, we are reading from the adi khanda there are three khandas there is adi madhya and shesha we are reading from the first division the adi khanda chapter 7 verse number 116 एक बार ये सूत्र पढ़िया प्रभु जाए आर बार उलढ़िया सबारे ठेकाए दिस इज डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ लिटिल निमाई ही इज अ यंग बॉय school going age and uh, he must be around 5 or 6 years old i'm thinking and uh, usually at the age of 5 the children would begin in the vedic culture they would begin their education formal education so nimai is at that age where he should be starting his formal education and uh, when he started his education nimai was very much absorbed in studies he would not leave his books even for a moment but a great tragedy had just taken place in the family a tragedy from the point of view of parental love but from the point of view of paramartha from the spiritual point of view it was a very glorious deed but this glorious deed of taking sanyas is considered to be a great tragedy from the laukik point of view there is laukik perspective and there is paralaukik perspective from the paralaukik perspective it was great great deed great accomplishment to take sanyas at such a young age of 16 years our nimai vishwambhar's elder brother vishwarup shri vishwarup he took sanyas just few days ago he took sanyas and he left home in those days sanyasis would continuously travel so they did not have any fixed place of residence and it was a rule that a sanyasi would never stay in the village where he belonged so that there will be no contact with the family so shri vishwarup taking sanyas meant that jagannath mishra and shashi mata would never see him again therefore in those days in the vedic culture sanyas was called social death to take sanyas means it is social death Vishwaru took sanyas, and Shachi Mata and Jagannath Mishra, out of their parental love, they were drowning in an ocean of sorrow. On the other hand, Nimai began his education, and all the time Nimai was with books, he was studying books. So let us see what happens. Eka bara ye sutra padiya prabhu jai. आर बार उलढ़िया सबारे ठेकाए और निमाई विश्वंभर एक बार ये सूत्र पढ़िया प्रभु जाए इफ निमाई रेड अ सूत्र देर आर पाणिनी सूत्र इन संस्कृत लैंग्वेज देर आर सेवरल थाउजेंड ऑफ देम विच नीड टू बी मेमोराइज आई थिंक देर आर थ्री थाउजेंड और फाइव थाउजेंड सूत्र दैट नीड टू बी मेमोराइज 
once nimai would read a sutra and he would never forget he was shruti dhar once he would hear or read and he would never forget it and he was able to explain it understand the meaning explain it and based on that sutra he could defeat any arguments he could defeat everyone else 117 dekhiya apurva buddhi sabai prashamse sabai bole dhanya pita mata hai na vamshe dekhiya apurva buddhi apurva this unprecedented unparalleled intelligence apurva buddhi when people saw this never before seen divine extraordinary intelligence of nimai sabai prashamse they all started doing prashamsa they all started doing um, glorification or they started appreciating praising prashamsa means praise they praised this wonderful intelligence and they declared sabai bole they all declared dhanya pita mata he navamshe glorious are the parents of this child who is so intelligent so divinely intelligent all glories to his parents dhanya pita mata santoshe kahe na sabe jagannath sthane tumi ta kritartha mishra ehe na nandane santoshe with great pleasure with great satisfaction all the people they told jagannath mishra tumi ta kritartha mishra o jagannath mishra you are most fortunate e hena nandane you have such a wonderful son such a wonderful son like nimai you are all most fortunate e mata su buddhi shishu nahi tribhuvane brihaspati jini yahai be adhyayane the people told jagannath mishra ओ विप्रवर ओ लीडर ऑफ ऑल द ब्राह्मण जगन्नाथ मिश्रा ए मत सुबुद्धि शिशु नाही त्रिभुवन इन द थ्री वर्ल्ड इन द हायर प्लैनेटर सिस्टम इन द लोअर प्लैनेटर सिस्टम एंड इन द मिडल प्लैनेटर सिस्टम भूर्भुव स्वर इन द थ्री प्लैनेटर सिस्टम ए मत सुबुद्धि शिशु नाही देर इज नो वन हू हैज सच सुबुद्धि सच डिवाइन इंटेलिजेंस एज युअर चाइल्ड in fact brihaspati jinia he can defeat brihaspati he can win over brihaspati adhyayane as far as learning is concerned oh ho your son is greater than brihaspati now imagine this nima is just a 5 6 year old lad <laughs> shunilai sarva artha apane vakhane tana phaki vakhani te नारे को न जाने जगन्नाथ मिश्रा फ्रेंड्स आर टेलिंग जगन्नाथ मिश्रा योर सन कैन एक्सप्लेन द मीनिंग ऑफ एनीथिंग शुनी ले सर्व अर्थ आपने वाखाने ही जस्ट हियर समथिंग वंस ही अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड ही कैन एक्सप्लेन इट ऑल्सो इमीजिएटली परफेक्टली ही कैन एक्सप्लेन एंड नो वन कैन डिफीट हिम फाकी वाखानी ते नारे को न जाने नो वन कैन डिफीट हिम एज फार एज एक्सप्लेनेशन रीजनिंग लॉजिक इज कंसर्न नो वन कैन डिफीट योर सन शुनिया पुत्र रुण जननी हरीशा मिश्रा पूना चित्ते बड़ हया वी मारीशा हियरिंग ऑल दिस ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ हर darling child shrimati shachi mata she became very happy janani harish she became harshit she became very happy janani means mother mother shachi became very happy shunya putre ra guna hearing the glorification of the divine qualities of her son she became very happy mother became very happy shachi mata became very happy but father jagannath mishra became very sad मिश्र पुनः चित्ते बड़ हय विमरीश विमरीश मदर बिकेम हरीश 
happy and father became we marisha father became very morose at heart shil bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur prabhu pad ji maharaj writes in the purport that we marisha means morose she became very he became very sad jagannath mishra became very sad but his wife shrimati shachi devi she became very happy that her son nimai was being glorified like this shachi prati bole jagannath mishra var एहो पुत्र बे संसार हरे कृष्ण जगन्नाथ मिश्र इज टेलिंग हिज वाइफ शचि प्रति बोले जगन्नाथ मिश्र वार वॉट डिड जगन्नाथ मिश्र से टू मदर शचि टू हिज वाइफ शचि देवी एहो पुत्र नारही बे संसार भीतर और जगन्नाथ मिश्र वर से पुत्र नारही बे संसार भीतर ओ माय डियर शचि देवी माय डियर वाइफ आवर सन निमाई इज नॉट गोइंग टू रिमेन इन फैमिली लाइफ ही विल नॉट रिमेन एट होम ए मत विश्व रूप पड़ी सर्व शास्त्र जानिया संसार सत्य मात्र आवर एल्डर सन श्री विश्वरूप ही स्टडीड ऑल द स्क्रिप्चर्स ए मत विश्व रूप पड़ी सर्व शास्त्र ही स्टडीड ऑल द स्क्रिप्चर्स पड़ी सर्व शास्त्र जानीला संसार सत्य मात्र एंड बिकॉज ऑफ स्टडिंग द शास्त्र ही अंडरस्टूड बाय रीडिंग द रिवील्ड स्क्रिप्चर लाइक श्रीमद भागवतम श्री विश्वरूप अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज टेम्पररी इट इज नॉट वॉट इज लॉर्ड कृष्णा सेन भगवद गीता of that which is temporary there is no endurance and that which is eternal there is no diminution but this material world because it is material world it is repeatedly created maintained destroyed created maintained and destroyed it is not stable it is not stable जानीला संसार सत्य मात्र ये संसार इतना भी सत्य नहीं है तिल मात्र एक तिल के बराबर भी सत्य नहीं है ये कुछ भी सत्य नहीं है इस संसार में नथिंग इज टेम नथिंग इज परमानेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरीथिंग इज टेम्पररी दिस श्री विश्वरूप अंडरस्टूड बिकॉज ऑफ स्टडिंग शास्त्र so by understanding shastra we should develop vairagya if by studying shastra one is thinking now i will teach the shastra and i will earn money or i will teach the shastra and i will become famous i will become respected i will teach this shastra to create followers followers popularity fame and money आर दीज नित्य और दे आर अनित्य दे आर अनित्य ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर अनित्य इफ समन हैज रियली स्टडीड शास्त्र दैट पर्सन विल अंडरस्टैंड इट दीज आर अनित्य आई शुड नॉट बी रनिंग आफ्टर दीज थिंग्स वैराग्य विद्या निज भक्ति योग शिक्षार्थ में पुरुष पुराण श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीर धारी कृपा बुधिम प्रपत्ते वैराग्य विद्या निज भक्ति योगा शिक्षार्थम श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु कम टू टीच अस वैराग्य एंड विद्या वैराग्य एंड विद्या नेचुरली फॉलो भक्ति दे आर ऑलवेज अकंपनिंग भक्ति वासुदेव भगवती भक्ति योग प्रयोजित जनयति आसु वैराग्य ज्ञानम चयद अहेतुकम दिस अ फैक्ट दैट वेर देर इज वासुदेव भक्ति वेर देर इज कृष्ण भक्ति 
there is vairagya and vidya so if we don't have knowledge about krishna by studying shrimad bhagavatam bhagavad gita chaitanya charitamrita that means we are not real devotees a real devotee will want to study the scriptures and get authentic knowledge about the ishta if we love someone we want to know about that person isn't it that is a sign of love to be interested i want to know what radha and krishna are doing how is their vrindavan what are the different types of forests in vrindavan what are the names of the gopis who are serving what do radha and krishna do i want to know so that i can serve my radha and krishna at home like that in that mood either in the form of deities or in my heart so devotee is interested like just like people are interested in stock market or cryptocurrency or how the market is doing or how the news is or what is going on how the money is growing they want to know they keep looking at their 401k upar hai ki niche hai going up or going down all the time keep checking keep checking keep checking what is the stock today what is the stock market today why because they are attached to money so if we are attached to krishna we want to know what is krishna doing oh it's 11:30 in the ashtakali lila what is going on are they together at radha kund yet so a devotee a sincere devotee will want to know about krishna that is vidya vidya comes from studying shastra and vairag given there is attachment to krishna naturally there is detachment from the material world so shri jagannath mishra is saying that our child vishwarup he studied the scriptures and he understood the temporary nature of this world a brahma stambha paryantam sarva maya mayam jagat satyam satyam punah satyam harer naam ayo ke hey clearly it is said samsar satya nahe tila matra the samsar is not satya verse 124 sarva shastra marma jani vishwa rupa dhira anitya samsara haite hai la bahira beautiful beautiful siddhanta sarva shastra marma jani vishwa rupa dhira anitya samsara haite haila bahira Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Anityam asukham lokam imam prapta bhajaswama. This world is Anityam asukham. It is temporary and it is devoid of real happiness. Anityam asukham lokam. Sarva shastra marma jani vishwarupa dhira. Vishwarupa because he is very dhir. He is a sober person. He is a pure devotee. He understood. Dhira means pure devotee. इसेन्शियल टीचिंग ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स दैट दिस वर्ल्ड इज ट्रांसिटरी ट्रांसिंट एंड टेम्पररी हि सोबर माइंडेड धीर and therefore he was able to bahira he became udasin he became detached bahira he became bahirmukh towards the samsar what is our condition krishna bahirmukh jeeva bhoga vancha kare nikatastha maya tare japati adhare we have become krishna bahirmukh But Sri Vishwaru bring a pure devotee. He became samsar bahirmukh. Samsar bahirmukha. Bhakta Krishna vancha kare. He only wants Krishna. Nikatastha Radha tare jhapati adhare. Then Sri Mathi Radha Rani will catch us. Yes, this is my maid servant. if we want to serve krishna radharani is recruiting there is vacancy recruitment is going on hmm? recruitment is going on radharani has sent her recruiters who is gurudev gurudev is radha priya sakhi shri shrimad gaur govind maharaj always said we should always look at gurudev as radha priya sakhi our guru maharaj is radha priya sakhi our guru maharaj is a palya dasi of shrimati radharani so radharani shrimati radharani has sent her recruiter to this material world to recruit 
मेड सर्वेंट्स फॉर श्री श्री राधा रास बिहारी फॉर श्री श्री राधा गोपीनाथ अनित्य संसार हईते हईला बाहिर सो अ डिवोटी बिकम्स डिटैच फ्रॉम द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड यू सी वेन वी आर वॉकिंग टू टेक वन स्टेप फॉरवर्ड वी हैव टू लिफ्ट दैट स्टेप फ्रॉम वेर इट वॉज आगे बढ़ने के लिए वी हैव टू कीप मूविंग अहेड so we cannot say no i will keep leg here only but i want to move ahead no if you want to march towards krishna you have to get detached from the material world eho jadi sarva shastre hai ved jnanavan chadiya samsara sukha kari be payan shri jagannath mishra out of his intense love for nimai he is thinking if this boy nimai also becomes well versed in the shastra eho jodi sarva shastre hai be gnanavan if he becomes gnanavan what happens to a gnanavan person bahunam janma namante gnanavan mam prapadyate vasudeva sarvam iti sa mahatma sudurlabha eho jodi sarva shastre hai be gnanavan छाड़िया संसार सुख करीबे पयान व्हाट विल हैपन इफ यू बिकम्स वेल वर्स इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स देन ही एक्चुअली बिकम्स ज्ञानवान ही गेट्स दिव्य ज्ञान देन ही विल गिव अप मटेरियल हैप्पीनेस छाड़िया संसार सुख छाड़िया संसार सुख त्यक्त्वा पूर्णम शेष मंडलपति श्रेणीम सदा तुच्छव भूत्वा दीन गणेश करुणया कौपी न कंथाश्रित गोपी भाव रिलहरी कल्लोल मग्न मुहूर् वंदे रूप सनातन रघुयुग श्री जीव गोपाल कौ और गोस्वामी देवर मंडलपति रूप सनातन गोस्वामी दास गोस्वामी देवर मंडलपति बट दे लेफ्ट एवरीथिंग for the service of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna prema krishna bhakti seva pravartan lupta tirtha uddhara ar vairagya shikshan this was the order of mahaprabhu to fulfill this order they went to vrindavan to write books lupta tirtha uddhar to excavate radha kund sham kund our das goswami sanatan goswami rupa goswami building radha madan mohan temple radha govinda dev temple writing books about krishna prem krishna bhakti seva pravartan establishing seva of shri vigraha in these temples lupta tirtha uddhara ar vairagya shikshan vairagya shikshan to demonstrate and teach the ideal behavior of a vairagi they went they left everything tyaktva turna vashesha mandala pati shrenim sada tuchavat they left behind all their money wealth family clothes jewels everything servants gave everything up chhadiya samsara sukh karibe payan and he will leave home he will leave home and go ei putra sabe dui janer jivan ihare na dekhile tui janer maran shri jagannath mishra in his intense ecstatic love for his divine son nimai he is saying this son is our life and soul ei putra sabe dui janer jivan for both of us he is our life and soul if we don't see him we will both certainly die iharana dekhile dui janer maran will die if we cannot if we don't see him our nimai ataiva ihara padiya karya nai मूर्ख है या घरे मोरा निमाई श्री जगन्नाथ मिश्रा इज सेंग अबाउट हिज सन निमाई अतव देर फोर बिकॉज यू स्टडी हिज ही विल डेवलप वायराग्य ही विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज नॉन सेंस इट्स अनित्य मसुगम लोकम दुखालय शाश्वतम ही विल नॉट वॉन्ट टू गेट एंटैंगल्ड इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड ही विल वॉन्ट टू लीव एंड गो लाइक द सन्स ऑफ दक्ष प्रजापति वेन दे गॉट सत्संग विच श्रीपाद नारद मुनि they understood this is material world is faltu place we don't want to get entangled we want to go we want to become vairagis they became bhakti vedantas so let nimai 
murkha here means he should not study he should not study dhira svadati vishnaye vishnave e murkho vadati vishnaye dhira vadati vishnave ubhayo hi to samam punyam bhavagrahi janardana so murkho vadati vishnaye dhira svadati vishnave so dhira is a person who is well educated and here murkha is a person who is not educated in sanskrit grammar in vyakaran so here also murkha haiya ghare mora rahu ka nimai jagannath mishra is not calling his son nimai that he should become you know fool in the sense of that word murkha not like that but let him be uneducated no problem that is what Uh, Shri Jagannath Mishra is saying, "Let our Nimai be uneducated, no murka. Let him be at home. Ghare Rahu ka Nimai. Let him stay at home with us. Because if he goes, we will lose him. He will take sannyas like Vishwaru." Shachi bolle murka hai le jive ko kemo ne murke re ta kanya o na di be ko na jane. Shachi Mata in her maternal mood, she says. but if nimai remains uneducated how will he survive in this world how will he uh, get his source of income jeevika what will he do if he is uneducated furthermore murkhe rata kanyao na dibe kona jane who will offer their kanya their daughter in marriage to someone who is uneducated look shachi mata's love shachi mata's love mishra bole tumi ta abodha viprasuta harta karta bharta krishna sabara rakshita so when shri jagannath mishra says if nimai studies he will understand the temporary nature of this material world he will not want to get entangled in this material world and he will take sanyas following in the footsteps of his elder brother vishwarup so let him not study let him be at home with us it's okay if he is uneducated shachi mata said what are you saying pati dev what are you saying how can we keep him uneducated if he is uneducated what work will he do how will he earn his livelihood besides who will give their daughter in marriage to our son nimai if he is not educated when shashi mata brings up these two points how will he earn and who will give him daughter in marriage if he is uneducated look what jagannath mishra says shri jagannath mishra tells shrimati shashi mata mishra bole tumi ta abodha viprasuta हर्त करता भरता कृष्ण सबार रक्षिता श्री जगन्नाथ मिश्र रिप्लाइज टू श्रीमती शचि देवी तुम्हें तो अबोध विप्रसुता यू आर द डॉटर ऑफ अ ब्राह्मण दैट नीलांबर चक्रवर्ती बट इट अपियर्स यू आर अबोध यू आर नॉट वेरी इंटेलिजेंट शचि देवी वॉट आर यू सेंग that if he doesn't get education he will not get money if he doesn't get education he will not get a good wife education education what is this is education supreme personality of god or is krishna supreme personality of god head harta karta bharta krishna sabara rakshita it is krishna who is the doer it is krishna who is the controller it is krishna who is the maintainer and it is krishna who is the protector of all living entities sabara everyone not just for the brahmans krishna is not just namo brahmanya devaya no krishna is jagannath krishna is jagannath he sab ka nath harta karta bharta krishna sabara rakshita krishna is the doer controller maintainer and protector of all living entities जगत पोषण करे जग तेरा जगत पोषण करे जग तेरा नाथ पांडित्य पोषय के बा कहिला तो मात जगन्नाथ मिश्र इज आस्किंग श्रीमती शची माता द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड जग तेरा नाथ जगन्नाथ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड मेंटेन्स द एंटायर यूनिवर्स जगत पोषण करे जगते रनाथ जगते र पोषण करे श्री जगन्नाथ जगन्नाथ इज द मेंटेनर ऑफ द एंटायर यूनिवर्स हु 
who told you that good education can maintain people panditya poshaye no krishna is the posh krishna does portion who is teaching you that panditya poshaye ke ba kahila to ma who is teaching you this philosophy that it is education that is maintaining all of us no it is krishna who is maintaining ki ba murkha ki pandit jahar ekhane kanya likhi ya che krishna se hai be apane whether one is a educated person or whether one is whether one is uneducated or one is educated whether one is scholar or whether one is uh, a fool the person will marry whichever girl krishna has sanctioned for him look at sri jagannath mishra ki ba murkha ki pandit jahar ekhane kanya likhi ya che krishna se hai be apane whichever girl krishna has sanctioned that girl will marry nimai what is this education 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 you don't have faith in krishna or what who is teaching you this philosophy kula vidya adi upa lakshana sakala sabare poshaye krishna krishna sarva bala aha what siddhanta we should memorize these verses this is siddhanta this is siddhanta harta karta bharta krishna sabara rakshita मिश्र बोले तू मी तर अबोध वि प्रसुत जगत पोष जगत पोषण करे जगत ए रनाथ पांडित्य पोषय के बा कहिला तो मा कि बा मूर्ख कि पंडित जहार ये खाने कन्या लिखी याचे कृष्ण से हई बे आपने विच एवर गर्ल कृष्ण हॅज सँक्शन दॅट गर्ल विल मॅरी आवर नी माय कुल विद्या आदि उप लक्षण सकल सबारे पोषाय कृष्ण कृष्ण सर्व बल एज्युकेशन बर्थ अँड अदर क्वालिटीज आर सुपरफिशियल कुल विद्या आदी दिस फॅमिली अरिस्टोक्रॅटिक फॅमिली मनी एज्युकेशन फॅमिली रिलेटिव्ह उपलक्ष उपलक्षण सकल दे आर ऑल सुपरफिशियल क्वालिटीज उपलक्षण सकल दे आर ऑल सुपरफिशियल क्वालिटीज सबारे पोषाय कृष्ण बट हू डज पोषण इट इज कृष्ण सवार पोषय कृष्ण कृष्ण सर्व बल अँड कृष्ण स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एव्हरी वन बलम बलवतम चाहम कृष्ण इज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रॉंग नाव इन श्रीमद भागवतम देर आर टेन टॉपिक्स भगवद्गीता हॅज फाईव्ह टॉपिक्स वॉट आर द फाईव्ह टॉपिक्स ऑफ भगवद्गीता भगवान ईश्वर जीव प्रकृती कर्म अँड काल there are the five principal topics taught by lord krishna in bhagavad gita ishwar or bhagwan jeeva prakriti kal and karma shrimad bhagavatam however deals with 10 topics shrimad bhagavatam deals with 10 topics in the second canto shila suta goswami explains atra sarga visargasya स्थानं पोषण मुक्तय मन्वंतरेशानुकथानिरोधो मुक्तिराश्रय टेन टॉपिक्स ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इज पोषण अत्र सर्ग विसर्ग से स्थान पोषण पोषण श्रीमद भागवत टीचर्स अस एक्झाम्पल्स हाऊ कृष्ण नरिशेस अपलिफ्ट्स अँड मेंटेन्स हिज डिवोटीज therefore shri jagannath mishra saying sabare poshay krishna krishna sarva bala kula vidya adi upa lakshana saka so now i want to know from all of you my dear friends few examples from shrimad bhagavatam raise your hand which prove different examples how krishna nourished his devotees uplifted them maintained them devotee was at a lower level but krishna poshan karke uddhar kiya bhagwa lord krishna nourishes his devotees with devotion and uplifts them uplifts them yes barsana chitra mata ji hari krishna prabhu ji dandar pranam this janeshwar goranga hari krishna janeshwar goranga prabhu yes the sudha the story of sudha ma where krishna uh, you know bestowed upon him so much uh, you know wealth and everything so he, so he maintained his own house yes very nice example 
एंड यस निवेदिता माता जी हाय कृष्णा प्रभु जी यस प्रभु जी पांडव आज दे आर द एग्जांपल दैट कृष्णा हेल्प देम इन एवरी एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ देयर लाइफ यस यस वेरी नाइस एग्जांपल सुदेवी माता जी हां माता जी हां प्रभु जी आई थिंक अजमिला व्हाट अबाउट अजमिल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दैट ही ही वाज अ ब्राह्मण बिफोर एंड देन ही सो अ प्रोस्टिट्यूट and then he started enjoying with the prostitute but still uh, even though he was uh, enjoying with the prostitute still he enjoyed lord's name and lord's name uh, lord uh, vishnu and narayan entered narayan yeah narayan. what happened and the vishnu dudas came and saved him hmm and then what happened to ajamel after he was saved he thank them mm-hmm. then what did he do did he uh, become a devotee after that uh, did, did ajamel become a devotee after being saved by did he become a devotee ha huh? he did become a devotee he did become a devotee yes he became a devotee very good what is your name so baby Sudevi, very nice. Sudevi, do you know who is Sudevi? You yes. know the names of Radha Rani's friends. Yes. So, what are the names of Radha Rani's friends? Is someone named Sudevi also? Yes. Yes. Sudevi is one of the Ashta Sakis, the eight main friends of Sri Mati Radha Rani. Yes. Like Lalita, Vishaka. Vishaka. स्टैंडिंग Ajamil and to punish him because Ajamil was very sinful, but then Krishna protected. That is example of portion. Portion means to protect, to nourish. Very nice. Thank you, Sudevi. Yes, Sarmista Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji, Tano Tano. Hare Krishna. Prabhu Ji, is it Putana? Yes, Putana also can be an example of portionam. Um, but the portion of specifically refers to the devotees those who approach krishna with devotion and krishna protects them nourishes them and uplifts them that upliftment should be there uh, prabhu ji is it prahlad maharaj yes prahlad maharaj is a very good example how krishna uh, pra- prahlad is a classical example of poshanam yes shrimad bhagavatam 7th canto poshanam yes uh, gajendra prabhu ji Uh, Gajendra, another fantastic example from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Poshanam, and Anuradha Mata Ji. Vritrasur Prabhu. Vritrasur also yes, very nice example. Yes. Parima Mata Ji. Dhruva. Dhruva Maharaj also example of Poshanam yes, and uh, Chandan Sharma Prabhu. Ah, uh, Prabhu Ji, like uh, uh, Krishna sent Uddhav to Badrik Ashram to get association or to deal there to get. Uh, no, Krishna. No, Krishna sent Uddhav to Badrik Ashram to give association. Sadhu. Okay. Uddhav, Uddhav was more advanced than the sadhus living at Badrik Ashram. But Prabhuji, Krishna the... sent Krishna sent Uddhav to Vrindavan to yeah. get association. <laughs> Prabhuji, the wives of the Brahmanas at Mathura. Yes, they got opportunity to serve Krishna. Ha, huh, they got. Yes, yes, that is that is portionam. That is portionam. they were doing poshanam to krishna by feeding krishna and krishna was doing poshanam to them by giving them krishna prem so yes that's a very good example so like that and then yes uh, vishaka mata ji and then last purnima mata ji vishaka mata ji go ahead ji parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj yes parikshit maharaj also was protected by krishna in the form of shrimad bhagavatam for his god ha huh? Before his birth, even he was protected. So since that time, so that way. No, I didn't understand. What did you say, Madhavi? Before his birth, even like when Ashwatthama. Oh, before his birth. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That is a even better example. Yes. 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 Yes.
एंड पूर्णिमा माता जी हरी कृष्णा पर धन्यवाद प्रणाम प्रभु जी द्रौपदी देवी व्हेन शी हैड टू फीड दुर्वासा ऋषि एंड द्रौपदी देवी यस वेरी फैंटास्टिक एग्जांपल द्रौपदी देवी यस दीज आर ऑल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पोषणम सो देयरफॉर श्री जगन्नाथ मिश्र इज सेइंग कुल विद्या आदि उप लक्षण सकल सबारे पोषय कृष्ण कृष्ण सर्व बल कृष्ण इज आवर स्ट्रेंथ कृष्ण इज आवर मेंटेनर एक भरोसो एक बल एक आस विश्वास रामचंद्र घनश्याम चातक तुलसीदास दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिद्धांत घनश्याम घन श्याम मीन्स अ डार्क रेनफील्ड क्लाउड and who is chatak bird chatak bird is a bird that does not drink water even from ganga you can give the sweetest water to chatak bird chatak bird will not drink chatak bird will only drink water from the rain filled cloud so goswami tulsidas ji is writing ek bharoso ek bal here shri jagannath mishra is saying sabare poshaye krishna krishna sarva bal ek bharoso ek bal ek aas vishwas we have faith and dependence in one ishta he is our strength our ishta is our strength ek bharoso ek bal ek aas vishwas ramchandra ghanasham chatak tulsidas lord ramchandra is like a rain filled cloud and i tulsidas i am the chatak bird my bharosa my vishwas my aas my strength my bal everything is shri ram this is devotee this is jagannath mishra saying sabare poshay krishna krishna sarva bal this is very important sakshate ekene na dekha amata padiyao amara ghare kene nahi bhata this can be directly seen in my life now jagannath mishra is not just speaking siddhanta philosophy but he is giving examples like all of you give examples of poshanam so nobody will doubt that krishna does poshanam because all of you gave such wonderful examples from shrimad bhagavatam so shri jagannath mishra is speaking philosophy to shrimati shachi devi but he is substantiating that philosophy with example and whose example is he giving he is giving his own example he says shachi devi listen साक्षात ना देखे पढ़ाईयो आमारो घरे केने नाही भात यू कैन डायरेक्टली सी माय एग्जांपल ओ माय डियर वाइफ लुक एट माय लाइफ माय डियर वाइफ ऑल दो आई एम एजुकेटेड पढ़ी आओ आमार ऑल दो आई एम एजुकेटेड नेवर दस आई एम पुअर घरे नाही भात देर इज नो राइस इन आवर हाउस ऑल दो आई एम सो एजुकेटेड so how are you saying that education will give money bhalo mate varna uchcha rite o yenare sahasra pandit giya dekha tar dware shri jagannath mishra is saying someone else may be unable to properly recite the alphabet they may not be very educated yet he may have thousands of scholars at his doorstep so we see sometimes there are some uh, high school or college dropouts and they become big big entrepreneurs they start big big companies i think even um, not B- bill gates also i think steve jobs also they had left their uh, college they were college dropouts and then they became very uh, big uh, businessmen big big uh, entrepreneurs or whatever you call them big big uh, successful uh, executives and thousands of scholars at their doors they had thousands of software engineers and hardware engineers at their doorsteps because they have such big companies so jagannath mishra is giving laukik example example from our day to day life around us see there are so many people they may not have a very high education they may not be very learned but they have thousands of people at it. even in india i have seen some ministers i have seen with my own eyes when i was working in um, maharashtra in india the education minister of uh, maharashtra he was practically illiterate fellow but all the doctors and engineers and everybody when he used to come some they used to dean and associate professors they used to do salam to him so yeah this is practically seen in this world 
bhala mate varna ucharito yenare they cannot even pronounce they do, they may not even know the full form of hiv i i am saying the example because the health minister had come to inspect the hiv facilities in jj hospital where i was uh, doctor he may not even know what is the difference between hiv and aids but he is the health minister he is coming and say inspecting everything why because he has been elected he doesn't have education so he depends on the health secretary who is uh, you know more uh, so there is a bureaucracy and there is a technocracy there is a difference bureaucracy and technocracy so he may not be a technical man but he has got power so jagannath mishra is giving example there are so many people they are not studied but they have so many educated people at their doorstep ataiva vidya adi na kare poshana krishna se sab ara kare poshana palana aha therefore qualities like good education cannot maintain one it is krishna alone who nourishes and maintains everyone ataiva vidya adi na kare poshan vidya doesn't do poshan baba vidya doesn't do poshan ataiva vidya adi na kare poshan कृष्ण से सबार करे पोषण पालन कृष्ण डस पोषण पालन पालन पोषण कृष्ण डस देन दिस संस्कृत वर्स नाउ अनायासेन मरण वीना दैन्य न जीवनम अनाराधित गोविंद चरण से कथम भवेत फॉर वन हु हैज नेवर वर्शिप द लोटस फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड गोविंद अनाराधित गोविंद चरण से वन हु हैज नेवर वर्शिप द लोटस फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड गोविंद हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर हिम टू लिव इन कंफर्ट एंड डाई इन पीस अनायासे न मरण वीना दैन्य न जीवनम अनाराधित गोविंद चरण से कथम भवे हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर सर ए पर्सन टू डाई इन पीस एंड लिव इन कंफर्ट जो सिद्धांत देर फॉर वी मस्ट वर्शिप द लोटस फीट ऑफ गोविंद लॉर्ड गोविंद अनाया से मरण जीवन दैन्य विने कृष्ण से विले से हयाद्यालीफुल सिंपल बेंगाली इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू लिव विदउट पॉवर्टी एंड वन वॉन्ट्स टू डाय पीसफुली देन ही शुड सर्व कृष्ण एजुकेशन एंड वेल्थ विल नॉट हेल्प मेनी टाइम्स एल्डरली डिवोटीज दे आर वर्ड हू विल टेक केयर ऑफ अस इन आवर ओल्ड एज actually everybody has anxiety who will take care of us in our old age right who will take care of us in our old age this anxiety is there the answer is we have to read shastra and we have to see this world through the eyes of the shastra shastra chakshu what is shastra saying anaya se marana jeevana dainya vine krishna se vile se haya nahe vidya dhane krishna se vile se haya nahe vidya dhane it's not our material qualities like education wealth that are going to protect us in our times of need in our old age it is krishna seva that will come to our rescue krishna seva krishna can do anything krishna can do anything anaya se marana to die peacefully and jeevana dainya vina and to live a life without poverty this is possible by krishna seva krishna sevile se haya नहे विद्या धने नॉट बाय विद्या कृष्ण कृपा विने नहे दुखे रोचन सिद्धांत दिस वी शुड मेमोराइज कृष्ण कृपा विने नहे दुखे रोचन ठाकिल विद्या कुल कोटि कोटि धन कृष्ण कृपा विने नहे दुखे रोचन वंस डिस्ट्रेस वंस दुख कैनॉट बी मिटिगेटेड कैनॉट बी टेकन अवे कृष्ण कृपा विने Without the mercy of Krishna, we cannot get free from distress. Thaki lava vidya kula koti koti dhana. Even if one is endowed with high education, good birth, and great wealth, our suffering and distress cannot be resolved with our wealth and our big big family and our high education. Only Krishna can protect us from distress. Only Krishna. कृष्ण 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 रक्षा कृष्ण 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 पाही माम मीन्स पालन पोषण एंड रक्षा माम मीन्स कृष्ण प्लीज प्रोटेक्ट सो ओनली कृष्ण कैन डू दैट 
now give some examples my dear friends of how our education high education cannot protect us from distress from the material world or from the scriptures how our kula our family cannot protect us from distress and koti koti dhan dhan we may have crores and crores of rupees or dollars it cannot protect, protect us from distress please give examples raise your hand examples from scriptures or examples from your day to day life so vishakha mata ji ravan and duryodhan because they had all the money but they were always in worry and like duryodhan they was always in distress found was are more fortunate than him as a person also they are better people like them more and okay and even ravan yes yes very good example this his cooler his wealth could not save him yes purnima mata ji hari krishna prabhu ji ha dhritarashtra dhritarashtra yes dhritarashtra had family yes he had family dhritarashtra's brother was a mahajan dhritarashtra's brother was vidur vidur is yamraj he is a mahajan and uh, dhritarashtra's uh, dhritarashtra's uh, uncle you can say the father figure is another mahajan bhishma dev so bhishma dev was there vidur was there but still his school or his family his wealth could not protect him from distress he experienced so much distress okay that is a good example another example of how um, uh, vidya kula dhana cannot protect us from suffering and pain in this world um sai vivek kalivemu yes bro uh, like in covid 19 we have seen many educated and even rich people they couldn't save their lives very so, true yeah very true yes sharmishtha mata ji prabhu ji is it uh, draupadi devi uh, she had uh, draupadi devi was protected she was saved yes. Yes. actually she got parmananda in the kuru sabha it is explained because krishna became her sari so our acharyas explain that when dushasan was pulling the sari draupadi devi was spinning but krishna embraced her in the form of the sari and draupadi devi was not feeling any distress in fact she was feeling the loving embrace of krishna which is durlab for the greatest yogis and demigods the embrace of krishna alingan that draupadi devi was experiencing in the kuru sabha so draupadi devi was protected but here we are saying ki how wealth high family connections and high education cannot protect us from the clash of this material world tapatraya adidevik adhyatmik adibhautik clash how they befall everyone regardless of your education your high family and your wealth how about the presidents of the country and prime minister of the country jfk he was the president of the country with all top notch security but it couldn't save him from untimely death indira gandhi also powerful lady but so there so many examples yes nivedita mata ji ai uh, prabhu ji durvasa muni he was a brahman and he is he was uh, very austere, austere but still when the sudarshan came he couldn't no one can uh, save him from sudarshan yes that is also good example yes chaturbhuj prabhu चतुर्भुज चैतन्य प्रभु वाह Yes, yes. But when death comes, nobody can save. Very true. Even Steve Jobs, we saw he had all the best doctors, healthcare at his disposal. But when he was unfortunately afflicted with cancer, nothing could save. We are giving these prominent, famous examples because everyone knows them. 
but this is happening to all of us all around us everybody is happening ahani ahani bhutani gachanti hayamalaya but we are giving prominent examples not because we have something against them we respect them for what they are but we know all of we know them they are famous that's why we are giving those examples so yes so we cannot yes nivita mata ji okay Hare Krishna, Pruji, Dhanush, Ma'am, Pruji. <laughs> I was typing example of Am- Ambani brothers, right? Being wealthiest in the country, and then just to settle their family share of the money, they went to court and all, right? So, so much of distress being the wealthiest persons in the whole country. Yeah, yeah, and even uh, Hiru Bai Ambani, very yeah. rich, but when he got the stroke, even the best hospitals couldn't save. Correct. So we are we are giving all these examples to make a point that all of us, Correct. not just the rich and famous, but all yeah. of us. we are subjected to these three types of sufferings sufferings caused by our own body like a blood vessel in the brain blowing up and getting a stroke or a cancer growing in the pancreas dhirubhai ammani steve jobs giving example or someone else uh, who was that fellow who shot president john f kennedy or uh, mahatma gandhi or rajiv gandhi somebody just coming and you know pretending to touch the feet and blowing up a bomb so this material will padam padam vipadam every step there are dangers caused by our body by other people other living entities and sometimes natural disasters Correct. natural disasters you know we all know that some you know devotees they had gone to new zealand and a volcano erupted last year and you know two devotees unfortunately they got very badly injured and they passed away in new zealand they were on a vacation so these natural disasters uh, in new orleans also so many people lost their lives when hurricane uh, katrina came i remember um, when the tsunami hit japan and so many coast even india sri lanka hundreds and thousands of people died there were villages and villages that were destroyed so really whether we are very educated whether we are very rich uh, w- few years ago when there was that uh, flash flood in ganga there was a cloud burst remember there were millionaire homes on the bank of ganga that were swept away did you see the footage big big mansions they were swept away in ganga in india and these millions are just going now right now as we are talking look at what is happening in california there are million dollar homes that are getting burnt in the forest fire in california can our wealth save us no can our physical strength save us no will the forest fire leave our house alone because we are from a famous family no just i'm not saying look at the news but if you just look at the news it's everywhere right now as we speak in may 2022 there are wild fires forest fires going on in california it's very hot there and there are million dollar homes farm houses that are getting burnt burn down nothing can be done what is the government saying evacuate run away there is nothing we can do forest fire so the point is nitya narsimha prabhu you raise your hand hare krishna prabhu ji dandav pranam uh, even parikshit maharaj uh, case also even though he was he was a great king and uh, the lord himself was uh, protecting but still like uh, from the curse he could not uh, escape can we give that example provision not really because parishit maharaj if he wanted he could have uh, he could have counteracted that curse the curse of a brahman doesn't have to work on a devotee there is a example in uh, shrimad bhagavatam 8th canto where uh, vashishtha muni vashishtha muni he is such a powerful rishi he cursed somebody to become uh shudra but that person he took complete shelter of krishna and he attained krishna in that lifetime itself and vashishta muni's curse proved false and you remember the name of that prince um prasiddha prasiddha maharaj prasiddha he was not maharaj he was a prince he was uh, the heir to the king prasiddha mar uh, he was kshatriya he was a prince and he was guarding the cows 
and at night a tiger attacked and by mistake instead of killing the cow instead of killing the tiger with his sword he killed the cow so vashishta muni got angry it was dark he could not see it was a mistake but he was cursed that you become a shudra but he took shelter of krishna and he attained krishna in that lifetime itself and shukdev goswami says that see the curse Prabh- prabhupada writes in the purport the curse of a powerful brahman like vashishta muni also did not work on a devotee so devotee can counteract but these other examples are more appropriate that how in this material world these uh, three fold miseries tapatraya they affect all of us parishud maharaj if he wanted he could have counter cursed he could have um, uh, krishna could have protected him it's not that krishna cannot protect krishna could have protected when krishna wants to protect he protects prahlad maharaj could not be killed when krishna wants a devotee to return to godhead quickly spiritual world then he does not protect apparently like um, abhimanyu abhimanyu was the son of subhadra devi subhadra devi yog maya krishna's own nephew uh, sorry uh, yeah krishna's own nephew arjun's son but krishna apparently did not protect him why because krishna wanted him to return to the spiritual world immediately so abhimanyu died at the age of 16 so not that krishna cannot protect but krishna had different plan like that is that okay हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण श्री जगन्नाथ मिश्र सिंग वन मे हैव लग्जुरियस आईटीएम आइटम्स फॉर एन्जॉयमेंट इन इज हाउस येट बाय द अरेजमेंट ऑफ द लॉर्ड ही मे बी सफरिंग फ्रॉम डिजीज जार गृह आचय उत्तम उपभोग someone may have uttam upabhog luxury apartment luxury house all comforts and luxuries are there for enjoyment tare krishna diya che na ko na maharog but if krishna gives him a maharog krishna gives him a disease he may have best upabhog he will not be able to enjoy it and i actually saw so many i have seen over the years seen so many examples but i like to give one particular example because this was the first time i was seeing it so directly and so clearly it had a very deep impact as i was graduating from my residency program here i was looking for jobs so we usually take help of physician recruiters the recruiters they try to find jobs for us so i was working with a particular recruiter and we became very friendly because practically every day we would speak about different jobs that are available so i became quite close to her and uh, so she would discuss everything with me and she said you know we really planned our life very nicely this is actually my last month i am going to get you placed dr deshmukh she told me i am going to get you placed in a job and then i am going to retire because we have really lived a very conscientious life and we have really saved very nicely throughout our life my husband was you know uh, engineer and he saved quite well i also saved quite well and we have more than enough for our retirement so we are really looking forward to retirement and uh, we have so many plans we have like a bucket list that we want to we want to go to iceland she i remember we want to go to iceland we want to go to new zealand uh, you know she had this so many things she wanted to she wanted to do uh, alaska and uh, they wanted to buy a vacation home so she told me we have got this bucket list we have to do and she said my uh, me and my husband have decided we want to together visit 100 countries that we have not visited 100 countries we want to visit that is our ambition so she told me hare krishna <laughs> one can say that i will do 100 gorgs and parikramas before i die <laughs> that is so much better but anyway that was what she told me i remember and then while we were you know doing our job search in the last one month of my residency or so she was very sad one day i asked her what happened and she said you know my husband was diagnosed with cancer of the pancreas and unfortunately it's quite advanced so we are going to try some chemotherapy so they tried some palliative chemotherapy but he was so weak he suddenly got a lot of jaundice and couldn't keep food down became very weak started losing weight he couldn't tolerate the chemotherapy so then they decided that we'll go to, you know take hospice hospice means just comfort care for patients who are expected to live for less than 6 months which he was so they decided to do hospice so what he did was there is a facility so here in america when we save money that retirement account is called 401k and we get it after the age of uh, 
after the day of after year of 60 we can withdraw the money and use it for retirement but we can withdraw it early if there is a life threatening illness so this uh, husband of my recruiter he was 55 years old so he was not eligible to withdraw money from the from the 401k account retirement account but you can if you if the doctor certifies that you are dying and you have only few months to live then without paying any penalty you can withdraw so he told his wife that you have enough in your retirement account you can live i have got only i have got less than 6 months so let me withdraw all of my money 401k money it was hundreds and thousands of dollars and let me just fulfill all my desires before i die i want to travel with you i want to live only in five star hotels i want to be in a you know chauffeur driven limousine i want to enjoy all that so this recruiter was telling me that you know we have withdrawn all his money from his 401k and i just want to give him a great time so the first vacation they booked was they went to orlando there's disney world and so many things so he always wanted to go there so they booked a five star hotel they went there to orlando both of them and because it was probably their last vacation they had everything planned out so they had a rental car chauffeur driven car everything they were living in a five star hotel everything was taken care of all their meals were planned everything was it was going to be a very expensive fancy vacation because he just wanted to enjoy so they landed in orlando i think one or two days they were able to enjoy and then all their reservations all their bookings all their plans fell apart they wanted to go to key west they wanted to do snorkeling and so many things they wanted to do everything went away because he his jaundice got worse he started vomiting throwing up they had to admit him why she had to admit him in a orlando hospital call 911 and admit him to orlando hospital and he was there for around 10 days sick and he died in orlando so you see we may have so many plans we may have all the money at our disposal but when the time comes if we have a maharog we may have everything that's what shri jagannath mishra is saying that jara grihe achaye uttam upabhog he has a loving wife he has money he has all the plans everything is there the weather was good not that it was raining and they couldn't go no everything was good everything was anukul but tare krishna diya che na kona maharog when the body a maharog develops what can we do if there is a cancer we, we don't know right now cancer might be growing in our body or some blood vessel in the heart is closing off giving a heart attack or a blood vessel in the brain is narrowing down going to give us a stroke we don't know what is going to happen so therefore we have to be very humble and grounded now i was supposed to cover till verse number 150 but it's already 15 minutes late so i think i'll stop here prithvi vilas madri please forgive me for the confusion but i'll stop at 139 maybe from 140 the next speaker can continue definitely thank, thank you mataji hare krishna shrimad श्री चैतन्य भागवत की जय शिल वृंदावन दास ठाकुर महाशय की जय जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद की जय गोस्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद की जय वॉज गिवन ऑल द ट्रांसलेशन इन पर ठाकुर थैंक यू वेरी मच हरे कृष्ण that's us thank you for all the thank nice you. answers you thank answers. you prabhu ji hari krishna hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna prabhu ji nice class anuradha yes. mata ji please thank you mata ji yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much prabhu ji very very uh, what do you say awakening and you know scary class <laughs> i'm sorry to use that word but yeah we need mm. to be awakened only when we hear classes like that that's what you know we come back to the senses uh, i have two questions prabhu one is like when you said that radha rani sends our guru maharaj uh, to you know appoint the maid servant i was thinking about nikunjo you know radhikali said that that uh, you know and would you please elaborate little so that it helps me meditate when i do the guru ashtaka prabhu will you speak little bit about on that and i have one more question after that hare krishna <clears throat> Shri Shrimad Gaur Govind Maharaj, he would say that Guru Dev is 
in the line one moment probably somebody needs to be muted please i'm sorry i'm okay. a lot of noise yeah yeah no problem, no problem. yeah please mute them bro. it should be okay mota ji please try now no prabhu needs to speak yeah yeah oh sorry okay i was i was wait i was looking for a verse actually so yeah um, <clears throat> shri shrimad gaur govind maharaj he would say that we have to recognize our inheritance shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is krishna who in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam in the ras panchadhyay he says na parayeham he tells the gopis specifically to shrimati radharani lord krishna says that na parayeham i cannot reciprocate with your devotional service i cannot although it is my pratigya ye yatha mam prapadyante tam sathaiva bhajam me hum that as devotees approach me i will reciprocate with them but your devotion is so great o shrimati radharani o dear gopis that it is impossible i cannot repay you even if i keep trying for the lifetime of lord brahma i cannot repay you for the devotion that you have rendered to me therefore let your pure devotional service itself be the reward for your devotional service because there is nothing i can do i cannot adequately reciprocate with your devotion krishna told the gopis and therefore shri krishna das kaviraj goswami writes in shri chaitanya charitam the pratigya bhang hoila gopi re bhajane this pratigya of krishna that ye atham am prapadyante tam sathay bhajam me hum bhang hoila pratigya bhang hoila gopi re bhajane by the bhajan of the gopis by the devotion of the gopis krishna's pratigya to reciprocate proved false and krishna accepted defeat na paraye hum nirvadya samyutam i cannot i cannot reciprocate he accepted defeat krishna accepted defeat ajit krishna who is cannot be defeated became parajit ajit became parajit krishna became defeated was defeated by the love of the gopis but when krishna said i cannot pay you back i cannot reciprocate with your devotion shrimati radharani who is very very innocent bholi sarkar shrimati radharani bholi kishori she is very very innocent very innocent radharani is very innocent she felt very bad that my sham sundar is feeling like this that he could not reciprocate with my love i don't love him because i want reciprocation आश्लिष्यवापादरतां पिनष्टु माम अदर्शनान मर्महतां करोतु वा श्री जगन्नाथ मिश्रा डज नॉट वांट निमाय टू स्टडी बिकॉज़ इफ निमाय स्टडीज ही विल फॉलो इन द फुटस्टेप्स ऑफ हिज एल्डर ब्रदर श्री विश्वरूप ही विल आल्सो टेक सन्यास अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड टू बी टेंपरेरी देन आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी माय निमाय jagannath mishra singh i will not be able to see him and if i don't see him i cannot live therefore i will not let him study i will not let him go to school because for a devotee separation from krishna viraha from krishna is most painful most painful mamottama shloka janeshu sakhyam samsara chakra bhramata swakarma bhi श्लोका therefore mamottama shloka janeshu sakhyam i want to have friendship sakhyam with uttama shloka jana otherwise i don't want anything nanaka prishtham na cha paryam ishtham na sarvabhavam na rasadhipatyam na yoga siddhir apunarbhavam va 
Samanyasatva Viraha Yakangshe. Viraha. I don't want Viraha from Krishna. A devotee is very afraid of separation from Krishna. Why is a devotee afraid of Vaishnava Prat? Not because it will destroy our bhakti. That is a very superficial fear. That is a very superficial and weak motivation for not offending devotees. I will not commit Vaishnava Prat because it will destroy my bhajan. That is, that is very superficial and insubstantial reason to be afraid of offending Vaishnava. We should be afraid of offending Vaishnavas. Srimati Ladini Devi, the illustrious disciple of Srila Prabhupada, in one of her last lecture, last letters that she wrote to Srila Radhanath Swami Maharaj, she writes, there are bombs exploding all around in Liberia. Every day around me, around 300 to 400 people are innocent civilians are murdered in the political coup. The United States has sent their big, huge military ships to evacuate all U.S. citizens. And Srila Bhakti Tirtha Swami Maharaj wrote to Ladini Mataji that immediately evacuate. Take help of those ships and evacuate. But Srimati Ladini Devi, she wrote to Srila Radhanath Swami Maharaj that there are so many devotees here who we have preached to, they have become devotees. Now they are chanting Hare Krishna, they are putting on Vaishnava Tilak, they are wearing Kanthi Mala, they have become vegetarians. They are engaged in the service of Jagannath. How can I just leave them? How can I leave them? I cannot leave them. I feel that if I leave them, I will be letting them down. I am not afraid of death, she wrote. I am not afraid of death. The only thing I'm afraid of, I'm scared of, is to offend the devotees. Same realization Maharaj Rahugana had when he's speaking to Jada Bharat Maharaj. I offer unlimited obeisances to all the Audhuts like you who are walking. I don't even know that they are devotees, but they are devotees, my obeisances to them. I don't want to offend them. Kings, royal kings like me are very expert in offending Audhuts and Sadhus like you. A pure devotee is only afraid of one thing and that is committing Vaishnava Aparat. But why? Why is a devotee afraid of committing Vaishnava Aparat? The reason is not because it will destroy one's bhakti. But a pure devotee is afraid to commit Vaishnava Aparat because it will displease Radha and Krishna. Shila Bhakti Tirtha Swami Maharaj says when you commit Aparad, we become Radha Shunya. Aparad is opposite of Radha. It displaces Shrimati Radharani when we offend the devotees. And that's why a devotee is scared to commit Vaishnava. It will displease Radha and Krishna. We will become Radha Shunya. Aparad. So a devotee does not want separation from Krishna. A devotee does not want separation from Krishna. Therefore, Kunti Maharani is praying to Krishna, please stay with us. She knows that Vasudev Maharaj and Devki are dying in separation from Krishna in Dwarka. Rukmini Satyavama Adi, they are dying in separation from Krishna in Dwarka. Kunti Maharani knows. Vasudev Maharaj is her brother. She knows. But still she is saying to Krishna, Krishna don't go. Please stay some more time. Pleading. Why? Because a devotee is helpless. Helplessly in love with Krishna. Cannot bear separation from Krishna. Everything else is tolerable. Why Ramananda Rai says that the greatest pain in this world is separation from devotees? Because devotees always keep us in Krishna consciousness. Devotees always keep us reminded of Krishna. Therefore, separation from devotees means separation from Krishna. Therefore, it is the greatest pain in this world. So, devotee does not want separation. Kunti Maharani is going in ecstasy. She is telling Krishna, Krishna cut off my family ties. Cut off my bonds of love to Yudhishthir and Arjun. Cut, cut. Yudhishthir and Arjun, they are Mahajans. They are pure devotees. They are Mahabhagwats. Why you want to cut off your attachment to pure devotee sons? Like your Pancha Pandavas. Because I consider them to be my sons. 
I don't consider them to be just devotees, but my sons. Therefore, cut off my family ties, Krishna. I only want you. Let calamities come. I will want you. Because with calamities, you will always be there with me. But now that everything is fine, you are going away. No, let those calamities come again. I want you. I want you. I want you. Similarly in Dwarka. Similarly in Vrindavan. Not similarly in Vrindavan. More so in Vrindavan. Much more so in Vrindavan. So much Vira. So a devotee does not want separation from Krishna. But Radharani, Shrimati Radharani is praying, Ashlishava padaratam pinashtumam adarshanan marmahatam karotuva adarshanan. Even adarshan is okay. Even if you want to neglect me, go away from me, not give me your darshan, it's okay, Krishna. You can do whatever you want with me, but I am yours. You can treat me the way you want. You can embrace me. You can, as I embrace your lotus feet, you can crush me under those lotus feet. You can be a lumpata. You can go with other gopis. You can go with Chandravali. You can neglect me. You can ignore me. You can do whatever you want, Krishna. Mat prananath astu para. But you will always be my prananath. You will always be my ghansham and I will always be your chatak. That is the love of Srimati Radharani for Krishna. Therefore, Krishna in the fourth chapter of the Adi Lila of Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna is saying, I must take on the mood of Srimati Radharani. And Radharani felt so bad that Krishna is saying, Na paraye ham. I cannot reciprocate. I cannot reciprocate. Pratigya bhanga huila. My promise is broken. Radharani is feeling very bad for Krishna. Oh, Krishna is feeling bad. He cannot reciprocate. I will help Krishna reciprocate. I will help Krishna reciprocate. He feels he cannot reciprocate. I will help him reciprocate. So therefore, Srimati Radharani gave her love to Krishna. Gave her bhav, her mahabhav to Krishna. Radha bhava dyuti suvalitam naumi krishna swarupam. Oh, but if he takes my bhav, he will fall on the ground in ecstasy. He will laugh, he will cry, he will fall on the ground. He will get hurt. So let me cover him with my own body. So Radharani also gave her complexion, her dyuti. Radha bhava dyuti. Radha bhava and Radha dyuti. Radharani is Heart, Radharani's love and Radharani's complexion. She gave to Krishna. Now me Krishna Swarupam. And he came as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That Krishna who said, Na paraye ham nirvadya samyujam. He has come as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya. He has come. And Radharani has given him two aspects of her. She gave her own love Everything that she had. And she gave her own complexion. And Krishna, Shamsundar Krishna, came as Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. With the purpose of trying to reciprocate with Sri Radha's love. How? By becoming Acharya. By becoming Acharya, and recruiting many jivas from this world who will go and serve Sri Radha. Krishna has become that recruiter for Srimati Radharani in a humble attempt to try to reciprocate with her love. Oh Radharani, your love is so great. I cannot reciprocate in any way. Therefore, let me assist you by giving you many, many sakhis and manjaris to expand your service to me even more. I will give you servants, Radharani, to assist you. And therefore, that Shamsundar Krishna who said, No parayeham has become our Acharya. He has become Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our Acharya, our Sampradaya Acharya. And he, through Rup Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Jiva Goswami, through Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, through Srila Narottam Das Thakur, Shila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saras Thakur, Shila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. He has given us this transcendental literature 
this transcendental bhajan kriya, this process of devotion, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, which will give us Radha Dasyam. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement is a movement of Radha Dasyam. Tavaya Vasmi, Tavaya Vasmi, Na Jivami Tvaya Bina. Iti Vidnyaya Radhe Tvam. Nayanan Padhantikam. O Radharani, please know that I cannot live without you. O Radharani, I cannot live without you. O Radharani, I cannot live without you. I am yours, I am yours, I am yours. Tavaya Vasmi, Tavaya Vasmi, Na Jivami Tvaya Bina. Iti Vidnyaya Radhe Tvam. Nayanan Charanantikam. Please bring me near your Charan Kamal. Give me place, give me service at your lotus feet. Mai Yamatma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika. O Radharani, give me service to your lotus feet. This Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching us through Rupa Raghunath Goswamis and Kaviraj Goswami. That's why Rupa Raghunath Pade Hoibe Akuti. Abe Amabhujabose Yugala Piriti. We can understand the loving relationship of Radha and Krishna only by reading the literatures of Rupa Raghunath Goswami. Rupa Raghunatha Pad. The Pad that they have written. Rupa Raghunatha Pad Hoibe Akuti. Our portion. We are talking about portion today. Portion. Our nourishment, our portion should come from Rupa Raghunath Pad. From the lotus feet of Rupa Raghunath and from their literatures that they have written. Pad means both. Rupa Raghunath Pad. Rahumora Ash. Prarthana Karoe Sada. E Adhamadas. Narottamadas is saying. And we can say E Adhamadas. What does Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami write after every chapter of Shaitanya Charitamrit? Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hajara Ash Chaitanya Charitamrita Kahe Chaitanya Charitamrita Kahe Krishna Das Rupa Raghunatha Pade Hajara Ash Chaitanya Charitamrita Kahe Krishna Das So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to recruit maid servants for Srimati Radharani. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is our Prayojan Acharya. And he is writing, Tavaya Vasmi, Tavaya Vasmi, Na Jivami Tvaya Bina. In Vilap Kusumanjali. So this has to be taken very seriously. Our Sampradaya is not a Sampradaya of going back to Godhead. Why? Going back to God. What are we going to do there? Whether we go back to Godhead or not, that is up to Krishna. Mama Janmani, Janmani Shwari, Bhavatad, Bhaktir, Ahituki Tvai. Ahituki Bhakti. Whether I am in this world or I am in any world, it doesn't matter. But Mahiya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Shri Radhika. Radha Dasya. In this way, all our Guru Varga who are followers of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada could have given us any Mangalarti. There are many Mangalartis. In fact, in the Gaudiya Mat, they don't sing this Mangalarti that we sing. Srila Prabhupada could have given us any Mangalarti. Mangala Arti is the first Arti of the day. And Srila Prabhupada gave us the Arti written by the great Vraj Rasikacharya. Shri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, who gave, spoke so much about Adi Ras, Shringar Ras, Madhurya Ras, and gave us this Guru Ashtakam of Shri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur as our Mangala Arati, which everybody has to chant every day, everybody has to attend. And in that, there are out of eight verses, there are two verses that speak about Yuga Lupasana. The fifth and the sixth verse, right in the middle, like a sandwich. <laughs> they are there. It begins with Mahaprabhu Kirtana Hritya Gita. Yes. Begins with Harinam Sankirtan. Begins with Guru Kripa. 
begins with mahaprabhu's prem nam sankirtan movement there is duty worship there is prasadam distribution hari naam is there mahaprabhu kirtan and nritya geeta all that is there <clears throat> then it comes to radha krishna upasana shri radhika madhavayor para madhurya leela not dasya leela vatsalya leela sakhya leela shila prabhupad very specific there are songs about sakhya leela also vatsalya leela also dasya leela also shila prabhupad is very specific very specific shila prabhupad is an eternal associate of shri rupa manjari therefore shila prabhupad lived next to the samadhi mandir and the bhajana kutir of shila rupa goswami in seva kunj where the rasleela takes place everywhere so shila prabhupad is a eternal associate confidential associate of shri rupa manjari rupa manjari is the leader of all the manjaris so shila prabhupad took shelter of shila rupa goswami everybody knows this it cannot be refuted it's a known fact shila prabhupad writes in nectar of devotion nectar of instruction that this krishna consciousness he begins nectar of instruction by saying this krishna consciousness movement is conducted under the guidance of shila rupa goswami shila rupa goswami shila rupa manjari shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur at the time of his departure the last bhajan he wants to hear from shila bhakti rakshak shridhar maharaj is shri rupa manjari pada shri rupa manjari pada se mora sampada see where the heart of our acharyas is yes shila prabhupad spoke against the darwin's theory moon landing and uh, prabhupad said life comes from life and break the teeth of mayavadis yes external this is all external shila prabhupad's heart is not there shila prabhupad's heart is ni kunjayo no rati keli siddhe yayali bhir yukti ra prekshaniya tatra didaksha dati vallabhasya vande guru guru shri charanaravindam vande guru shri charanaravindam shila prabhupad's heart is here but what to do we are so unqualified we are at such a spiritually low level that shila prabhupad had to spend all his time talking about these things life comes from life <laughs> darwin's theory darwin's grandfather might have been an ape my grandfather was not an ape <laughs> four regulative principles the ecstasy of krishna consciousness is like a ocean of lsd who is prabhupad talking to these hippies even we indians so uncultured prabhupad's audience were like that as an acharya shila prabhupad spoke time place and circumstances but if we study shila prabhupad's books carefully the message is unequivocal shila prabhupad ultimately gave us radha madhav shila prabhupad gave us radha ras bihari shila prabhupad gave us radha sham sundar in brooklyn radha govinda dev shila prabhupad gave his own duty is in kolkata radha govinda shila prabhupad is very clear very clear shila prabhupad is in the line of the manjaris headed by shri rupa manjari and all our acharyas shri narottam das thakur is champaka manjari all all our acharyas saraswati thakur is nayana mani manjari bhakti vinod thakur is kamala manjari so there is no room for any doubt it is manjari upasana and this whole manjari upasana is been given to us by our sham sundar who wants to reciprocate with shrimati radharani's purest love purest love to relieve krishna for one moment of his headache shrimati radharani is willing to suffer in hell for eternity eternity take my dust take my dust take this charana renu radhikar charana renu there was sanatan goswami singing and shila bhakti charu swami maharaj sang this bhajan so beautifully 
राधिका अष्टकम बाय शिल सनातन गोस्वामी इन बेंगाली वेरी ब्यूटिफुल राधिका चरण रेणु राधिका राधा रानी वॉन्ट्स टू गिव चरण रेणु एंड पुट इट ऑन श्याम सुंदर साइड टेक इट टेक इट टेक इट यू विल गो टू हेल्प ये सुके कृष्णा इज सींग डिवोटीज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हु आर सींग पुत्र देही धनम देही वीजा देही ग्रीन कार्ड देही घर देही ये देही वो देही गिव मी दिस गिव मी दैट एंड देन देर इज राधा रानी हु इज सींग कृष्णा टेक माय डस्ट एंड टू रिलीव यू फॉर वन निमेश वन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेकंड ऑफ हेडेक टू रिलीव यू आई एम विलिंग टू सफर इटर्नली इन हेल वो श्याम सुंदर आश्लिष्य वा पादर द वेरी सच लव Krishna is purchased by such love. Pratigya bhang hoi le go pire bhajane. What is this? This is uttama bhakti. Anya abhilashita shunya. Krishna is completely purchased. So how to reciprocate? Radha Rani takes great pleasure in serving me. Therefore, I will give Radha Rani more maid servants so that Radha Rani's service can be expanded. and that is the international society for krishna consciousness that is the gaudiya mat that is the family of shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur that is the family of shila bhakti vinod thakur and that is the family of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu this is gaudiya vaishnavism radha dasyam radha dasyam sarva sadhu kahe तिल मात्र राहदास्यम सर्व सिद्धि है राहदास्यम दिस इज द अल्टिमेट टीचिंग ऑफ आवर प्रयोजन आचार्य शिल रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी एंड अ सिंसियर डिवोटी विल टेक नोटिस ऑफ दिस पे हिड टू दिस ऑल आवर आचार्य आर लाइक दैट शिल गौर गोविंद महाराज वॉज लाइक दैट श्रीपाद अहेंद्र प्रभु वॉज लाइक दैट शिल भक्ति तीर्थ स्वामी महाराज last thing he was hearing was the gopi geet and the devotees from barsana madan mohan prabhu and other devotees from man mandir barsana singing vraj rasiya songs he was crying and wailing in ecstasy shila bhakti tir swam crying i could not go to vrindavan dham but shrimati radha rani has sent her own sakhis to me in this place near harrisburg pennsylvania as i am preparing to like bhishma dev he was saying as i am preparing to go radha rani has sent her barsana vasis for me that was what shila bhakti tirth swami maharaj was hearing for one hour they were doing kirtan and he was just crying and crying and crying he was wailing wailing in ecstasy ah! as madan mohan baba was in his beautiful sweet voice he was singing songs of shrimati radha rani songs about vrindavan dham so it's very clear my dear friends everything shila prabhupad never never think why shila prabhupad gave narsimha aarti sometimes foolish devotees ask questions like this why prabhupad gave narsimha aarti that is a vaikuntha bhav fools you have not read the anti lila of chaitanya charitamrit both the verses of narsimha aarti namaste narsimha aya itho narsimha parto narsimha it's from the ante lila of chaitanya charitamrit and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has sung them in his in his ante lila are we more vrajrasik than shri chaitanya mahaprabhu we observe narsimha chaturdashi for one day in vrindavan they observe for five days digest that <laughs> Yes, it is from Narsimha Puran. Those verses, yes. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Aswadan he has tasted those verses in the Anteli Lila of Chaitanya Charitamrit. And Tavakara Kamala Vare is from Shri Jayadev Goswami is Gid Govind. Is there anything higher than that? No. Shri La Prabhupad never gave us anything other than pure Braj Bhakti. And even in Braj Bhakti, Shringar Ras, Adi Ras, Madhuri Ras. That is what Shri La Prabhupad has given. but being a expert acharya he has given us based on time place and circumstances but still sometimes foolish people say prabhupad gave basics prabhupad didn't give enough ras you are not qualified for enough ras that's why you don't see so it is not like that one has to understand 
वॉट इज आवर गुरु परंपरा वॉट इज आवर दाय भाग वॉट इज आवर राइट फुल इनहेरिटेंस एंड वी शुड हैव द हाइएस्ट रिगार्ड फॉर दैट एंड टेक कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस वेरी सीरियसली एंड वी शुड ऑलवेज लुक एट आवर गुरुदेव एज राधा प्रिय सखी राधा प्रिय सखी दिस इज द वर्ल्ड इट ऑफ श्री श्रीमद गौर गोविंद स्वामी महाराज इज एट ओके माता जी हरे <laughs> yeah i'm so glad i asked that question though i took so much of your time prabhu but you gave so much of nectar it was like another add on to the class itself so i had a follow up but i don't think i should ask prabhu that will take another some more time of yours maybe next class i will ask because that will be still relevant maybe next person is there if you still have time prabhu thank you so much very great beautiful thank you thank you madhuri sorry for the long answer hari krishna no you are glad prabhu we are very blessed by the long answer hari krishna ोका some of the senior disciples of shila prabhupada are challenged by health so in such case why radharani uh, not give good health so that many um, many more maid servant shall go back to krishna that is the question to you <clears throat> hare krishna श्रीपाद माधवेंद्र पुरी हु इज द परम गुरु ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही वॉज इन वैलिड इन हिज लास्ट डेज ही डिंट हैव कंट्रोल ओवर स्टूल एंड यूरिन ही वॉज बेड बाउंड बेड रेडन एंड ही वॉज टू पास स्टूल एंड यूरिन इन बेड श्रील सनातन गोस्वामी ही वॉज अफ्लिक्टेड विथ very bad skin disease suffered for almost one year there was pus blood foul smell oozing from his body shri raghunath das goswami was reduced to skin and bones he gave up eating he couldn't live in separation from mahaprabhu and from roop and sanatan goswami when mahaprabhu left this world shri raghunath das goswami gave up eating he would just drink some buttermilk when shri sanatan goswami departed from this world shri raghunath das goswami was so hard broken that he started drinking buttermilk every other day and when shri roopa goswami left this world shri raghunath das goswami would only drink buttermilk every third or fourth day that also many times he would just forget he was reduced to skin and bones sometimes he would meditate on the nitya leela where radharani is giving her uchishtha her adharamrit sweet rice to lalita sakhi lalita sakhi is giving it to roopa manjari roopa manjari is giving it to das goswami who is rati manjari and by eating that he gets severe stomach pain cramps externally he is suffering so much Shri Vrinda Vandas Thakur says, "I am invalid. My joints are aching. My hands are burning. I have almost become blind." So all these acharyas, apparently, they are suffering so much. Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur came to Vrinda Vand, could not even do Vrinda Vand Dham Parikrama because he had severe attack of rheumatism in his knees, severe joint pain. Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Shri Bhakti Siddhant Asaraj Thakur also. at a relatively young age he suffered health problems and left this world and we all know our shila prabhupad the antya leela of our shila prabhupad how the last one year was so difficult for shila prabhupad shila tamal krishna goswami maharaj shila bhakti charu swami maharaj they left all their services to serve shila prabhupad all this uh, narsimha prabhu all this we must understand without any doubt to be 
लीला टू बी लीला एंड दिस लीला टेक्स प्लेस सो दैट हार्ड हार्टेड साधक लाइक अस लाइक मी विल क्राय अदरवाइज आवर हार्ट आर सो हार्ड एंड सो ड्राई that there is no shower of tears in the dry desert of our hearts there is no rain shower of tears because we don't have any feelings for radha and krishna we don't have any feelings for gauranga mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu but when we see our maintainer our protector our guide shri guru going through all these apparently material sufferings our heart melts and we get engaged in vaishnava seva and that becomes the cause of our liberation that becomes the cause of us receiving divine mercy as far as the great devotees are concerned who may apparently have health problems shri gaur govind maharaj suddenly got what the doctors felt was a heart attack shri padayendra prabhu he was burnt to death shil tamal krishna goswami maharaj also had prostate cancer in his last months then had an accident road accident and disappeared from our vision shil bhakti tirtha swami maharaj suffered for months and months and months had to have his leg amputated he had so much pain god knows how many bullets were pumped into the tender body of our dear ladini mata ji so yes devotees suffer in this world just like other people because that's how this world is and a devotee never wants never prays to krishna to change it for him or her devotee doesn't pray like that if devotee is did not suffer from any health problem please listen carefully if devotee is did not suffer from any health problem because they are chanting 16 rounds they are following four regular principles they are attending mangal aarti they are hearing satsang so from today no devotee will have any health problem the whole world will become a devotee isn't it if publish in a scientific journal new england journal of medicine how to prevent covid how to prevent cancer oh very simple just chant 16 rounds nobody will ever get any cancer nobody will get heart attack nobody will get stroke nobody will get paralysis nobody will suffer nobody will get uh, pneumonia just chant 16 rounds it will be get published we can do a trial we can prove it that yes we are chanting 16 rounds nobody gets any health problem the whole world will become a devotee whole world will become a devotee really but will anybody become a pure devotee no it will be karma mishra bhakti it will be karma mishra bhakti will radharani get even one manjari maid servant from that no krishna consciousness is not about quantity it is about quality we will be tested this was the last instruction of shila bhakti siddhanta saraj thakur prabhupad in this world we are put to test the first instruction was in this world we are put to test only those devotees who attend the satsang and sankirtan will survive so we will be put to test we will get these challenges we will get heart attacks strokes paralysis cancer krishna wants to see are you going to leave me now so easy to leave krishna so much i have done for you krishna and still you gave me kidney failure i am on dialysis now i will not chant shri haridas thakur was old his body was not supporting he wanted to chant 192 rounds 3 lakh names but his body was not supporting that's why he couldn't chant so he gave up eating i will not eat haridas thakur did not say krishna with this body i am doing so much naam bhajan why you cannot give me a fit body come on now i will not chant because my body is not fit no he said i will not eat but i will chant this is a pure devotee 
so when we get rewarded for our devotional service the encouragement that we get in our devotional service is karma mishra bhakti it is not uttama bhakti it is not pure bhakti pure bhakti is gyana karma di anavrata it is not covered over by karma and gyan but if we are getting rewarded we are getting good health for doing bhajan then everybody will do bhajan and that will be karma mishra bhakti but to be recruited by shrimati radharani to get entrance into the nikunja seva has to be uttama bhakti pure bhakti and for that we have to go through tests and try and this is the test that you see the senior devotees suffer and this will happen to you also shila prabhupa told in his last days don't happen don't think this is not going to happen to you and we saw what happened to his grace pankaj angri prabhu did we not see we have seen what happened how many prayers nursing bhagwan's darshan apparently nothing worked he left how many extra rounds how many prayers for shila bhakti charu swami maharaj can krishna not cure covid so many people are cured of covid why his grace pankaj angri prabhu and shila bhakti charu swami maharaj apparently were not cured this is krishna lila krishna wants to see are you going to leave me now are you going to lose your faith in me krishna will test us my dear friends and we should take this as krishna's test and we should only increase our faith in krishna krishna you know best otherwise how will we understand the meaning of ashlishva padaratam pinashtuma how will we understand the meaning of shila prabhupada's prayer nachao nachao prabhu nachao semate kashthera putaliyata nachao semate nachao nachao prabhu nachao semate how will we understand the only way to understand is to go through these motions of suffering and still our faith in krishna our bhajan should get stronger and stronger that is the kasauti that is the test that we have to go through therefore this is a path for the brave hearts for the brave hearts not for the uh, those who are after bhukti and mukti they will be filtered out at the most they will go to vaikuntha but they will not get entrance into golok vrindavan and definitely not into the nikunja seva this is for those people who want to give the dust of their feet on krishna's head i will go to hell but my krishna should should be and should 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 be comfortable therefore a devotee will taste the bhoga before offering krishna and radharani little bit one spoon make sure it is tasty then i will offer oh but there will be offense theek hai i will take the offense but i cannot offer food to radha and krishna which has got less salt or too much salt i cannot the temperature should be right the taste flavor should be right only then i will offer so devotee will always taste before offering to krishna but what is the vidhi tie a cloth around your mouth when you cook <laughs> don't touch don't taste when you offer it cover it with a cloth so nobody can see it as it is offered it should be pure yes that is there that is vaidhi bhakti but in bhav bhakti no i will always taste i will never offer radha and krishna something that is not tasty so this is a path of love prabhu ji is that okay hare krishna